Hey everyone, this is a short video to just explain my choice of open face helmets for 2012's uh, cruising season. I went for the Bell 500 Custom and the reason why I went for the Bell 500 Custom is after looking at lots and lots, whether it was the Ruby or whether it was the Showy or whether it was Arai or a Nolan or a name a helmet brand, I've looked at their open face version and I spent probably a year um, uh, working out which was the best, which looked the best and which fitted the best and which had the best um, finish in my opinion. And I ended up with the Bell 500 Custom. So you are in the market for uh, an open face helmet I urge you to have a look at the Bell 500 Custom. It's just a sweet looking helmet, really finished uh, well. There's a, on this model that I've chosen, a nice chrome finish. And uh, you will, you, you'll, you'll not be disappointed if you go for the Bell 500 Custom. It's quilted on the inside. Let me just tip that up. If you can see, just quilted, padded really well. The finish is excellent and uh, the chin strap is a, is a good fit, plenty of slack on that. I've gone for the small. I like the contour and the shape and the closeness of the fit of the Bell 500 Custom. So it, uh, it's worth a look at and trust me, you will enjoy riding your cruiser bike with the Bell 500 Custom. I'm not a salesman by the way, I know I just listen to myself, I sound like a blood, blooming um, bell salesman. I'm not, I, I just think I've made a good choice, I enjoy it, and uh, it was a difficult one to, to make. Two years of having a Triumph Thunderbird Cruiser, wearing my full face showy helmet, and just not feeling the full part of a cruise, a cruiser and a cruiser bike rider. And when you've got yourself your open face helmet, it, I tell you what, the sensation of riding your bike is so much better. I love it, absolutely love it. And I tell you what's interesting as well, is when um, I, you, you will have had that experience if you're a cruiser wearing a full face helmet, you, something doesn't quite fit right. And especially when you're coming up to another cruiser rider, they're coming towards you, you're coming towards them, and you, you're in that zone of, do I nod at them or not? Because especially in the UK, there's a real class and class war and, and, and biker kind of uh, war of who nods at who. Sport bikers only nod at sport bikers and cruisers only nod at cruisers. Um, but then within the cruiser world, um, you, if you've got a full face helmet on and you nod, at a cruiser rider who's got an open face helmet, then you're unlikely to get a nod back because you're not a proper cruiser because you've got a full face helmet, you girl. Well, listen, we all know that the open face helmet isn't as um, uh, safe and certainly doesn't offer as much protection, but let's, let's um, cut straight to the chase. In terms of riding sensation, open face rocks and it looks great and feels fantastic so go for the bell try it out have a look there's plenty out there got mine on the in internet i think got mine from motorcycle mamas on the internet it's about 130 quid and it is a really nice great finished helmet and just looks good not um, really bulbous on your head now i want to just share with you a couple of other purchases to go with your summer cruising look with the open face helmet i've got some oakley fives i got a buff neck tube and we've got some spinny summer gloves. Now, your fives, you've got to choose a nice pair of glasses that look good and also offer some protection. I've gone from the Oakley fives. Now, the reason why I've gone for the Oakley fives is that they're very small and they really hug your face, the very tight contour. And uh, these are polarized lenses, mirror finish, but also they're tested to protect your eyes against debris that hits them at over 100 miles an hour, um, or 100 miles an hour, I'm pretty certain it's 100 plus. So you can't just go for a cheap pair of sunglasses because when you're not wearing a full face helmet with a nice thick visor, your eyes are vulnerable, there's no doubt about that. So you've got to pick something that's safe. I think these are about 100, 100 quid, 130 quid, something like that. You'll find them at different prices. So check out the Oakley Fives. They're a great looking glass 
and um, they say they offer some safety and protection as well for your, your little, little eyes. So when it's a little bit chilly, I've got myself a neck tube. I've got my, myself a nice buff style neck tube in combat um, style. Wrap it, put it over your neck, oh, all over your head, obviously. And it just, it looks good. It's a nice finish with a, I wear a nice um, olive colored combat style jacket at the moment. And then I've got my summer, summer spiddy gloves. They are, they're, they're Cool, they're, they're, they're summer, they don't offer a great deal of protection actually. There's a little bit of knuckle padding as you can see, but they let the air through as well, which is nice and comfortable when you're riding on a, on a really hot summer's day. Now listen, if you're in the UK, you're going to wince at the thought of wearing an open face helmet. But trust me, I've, when you've ridden abroad, I reckon it's only the UK and Germany that have bought into the super protective equipment um, style on motorbikes. You get into Italy, you get into France, uh, the only person wearing the full face helmet, the leathers, the gloves, the boots, is a Brit who's touring and he stands out like a sore thumb. And if you've done any touring abroad, it don't take you long before you try riding without a leather jacket on and, and just wearing um, trainers. You're vulnerable, yes we are, there's no doubt about that. But in terms of riding experience, once you've ridden with an open face helmet, you'll not want to ride with a full face again. And especially after you've coped with the first few um, smacks in the face from flies, I tell you what, what <laughs> it's, a real, it's a real shocker when a fly hits you in the face. And uh, you don't cry, obviously, because uh, you're an open face uh, helmet uh, biker rider. You don't, you don't cry and you've got your mirror shades on. So just in case you do tear up, no one can see you anyway. But I tell you, it, uh, it's a right shock having uh, this smack you in the face. So it's, um, it's, it's a great sensation. You, you do toughen up and you become a hardened biker and then you, you're fine picking the flies out your teeth and out your goatee beard or whatever you've got. So hope that helps. Uh, Go for an open face helmet in 2013, you're going to love it and it's much, much more enjoyable whilst cruising on a summer's day. Cheers guys, I hope that helps, bye.